Hello everyone, welcome back to Trey You Crochet. So in today's video we will be finishing off this men's crochet hat by JJ Crochet. We just have a few more rounds to go and we will be all done. But the cool thing about this video is that we will be learning how to do the front post double crochet. Let's get to it. Alright, so we completed in the last video round 6 through 10 and now it is time to move on to rounds 11 through 13. So it says chain 2. So finally they put that chain 2 in there. Thank you JJ Crochet. <laughs> now I don't have to wonder. Alright, asterisk front post double crochet into next stitch. DC, which is double crochet, and next stitch. Asterisk. Repeat around for 55 stitches. So remember, we left off with 59 stitches, so we will repeat this pattern around for 59 stitches. So basically, we're just alternating between the front post double crochet and the double crochet. Front post double crochet, as you see, is abbreviated FPDC, and obviously, double crochet is abbreviated DC. Alright, so let's move to that FPDC, that front post double crochet. You might be wondering, what is that? Okay. Now I've seen the front post double crochet explained various ways and I'm going to explain it this way and I think this will help you remember what it entails. So first of all, if we look at the letters FPDC, the DC tells us that regardless of whatever else we're doing, it's going to be a double crochet, hence DC. Okay? So we know we have to yarn over first, right? Whenever we double crochet, we yarn over once before we do what we're going to do. Whether it's going into a chain, whether it's going into the top stitch, whatever. You always yarn over once first. Now, the front post part simply means taking your hook, and this is the next stitch, going, coming from the front of the stitch and going to the back. Okay? Like this. Okay, so once again, it's coming from the front, going to the back of the stitch, like this. Okay? going behind the stitch and coming out to the front again. Okay, so once again when you do a front post you go in from the front behind the stitch and back out to the front. Hence front post. Okay, so from the front back out to the front. And now at this point we just continue on with our regular double crochet. So now we yarn over as we would normally and pull through. We still have the same number of loops on our hook as we would with any other double crochet. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through two. Okay, that is how you make a front post double crochet. Now we have to alternate the front post double crochet with a double crochet. So that means we just make a regular double crochet. So yarn over, go in the top of the stitch like we've been doing all along. Yarn over, pull through to the front. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through two. Okay? And you can see the difference in terms of look between a front post double crochet and a regular double crochet. Now since we're alternating between these two stitches and we just did a regular double crochet, that means it's time to do another front post. So as with any other double crochet, regardless of what type of stitch it's going into, we yarn over first. Come from the front, go to the back, and come back out to the front. And now we proceed as normal. Yarn over pull that through to the front. We have three loops. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through two. Okay, so you see the way I'm making the double crochet is exactly the same way I always make it. Okay, so yarn over, regular double crochet time. Go into the top of the stitch and yarn over, right? This yarn over right here happens once I 
With the front post back post, this yarn over happens once I bring the needle back out to the front. So that's when I do that yarn over. Here, I'm not bringing it back out to the front, right? I'm just going through the top of the stitch, so I yarn over and pull through. And that's where I have three loops, okay? So, let me go back and show this. I'm going to say ding, 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 okay? To mark that location. So I yarn over, go through the stitch, yarn over, ding, ding, ding pull through to the front and I have three loops. Yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Remember that ding 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 spot, okay? Yarn over, now it's time for a front post double crochet. Come from the front to the back, back to the front. Yarn over, ding ding ding, okay? That's the same spot. Pull through to the front and now I have three loops on my crochet hook. Yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, okay? And we're going to keep alternating between the front post double crochet and a regular double crochet all the way around. And I will meet you at the end. This, by the way, is what will create the ribbing. Alright, I am nearing the end of round 11. And I just wanted to point something out. So, when you're doing these front post double crochets, it might throw you off in terms of what stitch is the next stitch. So I'm supposed to be doing a double crochet neck. So I yarn over and you might look here and you may see this piece right there, you know, very close to that, right? And you might think, oh, that's not the next stitch. I already put the front post double crochet there. So this is the next stitch. But in actuality, that's not the case. If you pull back, you see that the front post double crochet is on that stitch. So this is indeed the next stitch. So then we put our double crochet into it. Now front post, front, back, front. So the front post you end with the front. You end coming out through the front. And then regular crochet in the last stitch. I got a double. Okay. And now it says join to top of chain two with the slip stitch. So we've been doing that all along. We know how to do that very well now. So let's chain one, chain two, top of it, yarn over and pull it through all the way until you have one loop on. Now we're doing that for rounds twelve and thirteen as well. So we'll just repeat that again, chain two, and then we will start alternating between the front post double crochet and the DC. So here we use the front post double crochet in the next stitch, and since we're repeating, we do the exact same thing. So yarn over, come in from the front, go to the back, and out. Yarn over, come from the front, behind the stitch, and come out to the front. Yarn over, pull through. Okay. Regular double crochet in the next stitch. And this row might be a little bit easier because you can see what you did before and you'll know exactly what stitch is which. So, front post, double crochet. So basically your front post, using a front post double crochet in the previous front post double crochets and you are double crocheting in the previous double crochets and that my friends is what will lead to the ribbing effect as you can see it's already happening before our very eyes <laughs> okay you see that alright I will meet you uh, at the end of round 13 so just do this this is round 12 so finish round 12 slip stitch chain 2 do it to round 13 exact same thing and I will meet you at the end of round 13 alright I am nearing the end of round 13 so that I pop back on and just remind you what you should be doing so regular double crochet front post double crochet Remember, coming from the front, behind the stitch, coming out to the front. Remember, you end front. So front, back, front.
regular double crochet front pulse front back front crochet double crochet double crochet and that's where I end. I end on the double crochet as I should okay so you can see all the regular double crochets are, are on top of each other one two three round, ele round 11 <laughs> 12 13 and one two three round 11 12 13 and that is what creates the ribbing now let's complete this row so I'm gonna go into the top of the chain two slip stitch alright now moving on to round 14 which is the final round of this pattern yay <laughs> it says chain one so already because you've chained one that's a clue most likely that you're going to be using the single crochet remember I told you one chain can equate to a single crochet this is what I was talking about this is the instance in which that equation happens and it says chain one counts as first single crochet so now the pattern begins asterisk front posts single crochet into next stitch single crochet into next stitch repeat around 55 stitches in our case for a total of 59 stitches because that's what we ended up with several rounds ago okay so the front post single crochet remember whenever you see FP and then the last two initials um, the last two initials or last two letters of that acronym let you know what type of stitch you're making so SC we know that stands for single crochet and we're doing a front post single crochet now and once again it's all the front post stitches go into front post stitches and the regular stitches go into the regular stitches so you'll see what I mean so I chained one like it said and I have to do a front post single crochet into into this um, next stitch which is this front post double crochet so you will remember that with the single crochet you don't yarn over first you go you just go into the stitch so remember front behind the stitch so front back front right front back front that's how you do a front post stitch and now we yarn over ding 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 pull it through to the front we have two loops on our um, on our crochet hook we yarn over and we go through both of them and that's a single that's a front post single crochet the next stitch is this double crochet behind here and we just put a single crochet into that so we go into the top of it like normal yarn over ding 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 <laughs> bring it to the front two loops on our crochet hook and like that okay so let me do a couple more before I before I turn the camera off so front post single crochet front back front yarn over pull through two loops yarn over go through two alright next stitch just a regular single crochet so we're going to the top of that stitch yarn over ding 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 pull through to the front two loops on the crochet hook yarn over go through two okay front back front yarn over pull two through the front yarn over go through two next stitch regular single crochet okay and you'll just continue doing that all the way around okay and I've noticed that it kind of helps to spread spread the stitches apart a little bit so you can see exactly where you should be crocheting into so for instance if I'm looking to do a front post in the next stitch then I spread it and I see okay that's the next one so front back front yarn over pull through yarn over go through two what's the next stitch see if you don't spread it, it might you might think that this is the next stitch right but it's not if you spread it you see oh there's that stitch back there so I had to put a single crochet there okay so it helps to kind of spread the stitches a little bit alright continue on around and I will meet you at the end so we can finish off this project alright so we are nearing the end of this row so let me just finish this up right quick regular single crochet front post single crochet and then regular single crochet 
And now the pattern says, join to top of chain one with a slip stitch. So this can be kind of hard to find because it's only one chain, so it usually lays flat. But it's just right there. Okay. By the way, if you didn't know that this was the end of the row, you could always go back and look where your stitch marker is. Okay. That started the row. See that? All right. So let's go into this chain. One. This is the top chain because it's the only chain. <laughs> and then slip stitch it like that. Okay, so now that we have done the slip stitch, it says fasten off. So I like to chain one, and then I like to cut my yarn at that point after I've chained one, and then pull it through because that chain one creates a little knot. Okay? Now, I could use a darning needle, a tapestry needle, a weaving needle, as I said and another video goes by several names to weave this yarn into the stitches but I kinda like to have this tail and I can always shorten it, in fact I will shorten it but I always like to have a tail because it definitely marks the back of the hat, it's kinda like a tag in my opinion so especially when I take this stitch marker out in fact I can do that now <laughs> um, it may be a little bit hard. I mean, an experienced crocheter will be able to see where the chain, all the chain twos happened, right here. But it can be hard, right? So as I said, I like to leave the tail because it kind of acts like a tag. So what I like to do is I like to take a smaller crochet hook and go through a stitch on the inside like this. These stitches are kind of small, so I could even take a smaller, but you can go through one or two stitches. Since I accidentally went in two, I'll just pull the yarn through both, both stitches like that, and you have a loop. This is what I was trying to show you <laughs> in another uh, video, but I ended up only, I ended up running out of yarn. So um, I have a loop, so I'll chain one, and then it makes a knot, right? And so now this yarn is not going anywhere. It's not going to unravel because not only is it woven through a couple of stitches, but there's also a knot. And then I will shorten it a little bit, actually a lot. <laughs> and this is my hat. Okay. So that's the tail. That lets me know that this is the back. And this is what my hat looks like and what yours will look like, hopefully, <laughs> um, after completing the project. So as you can see, here's the ribbing. The ribbing is created by alternating between regular double crochet stitches and front post double crochet stitches. And then we did a small border alternating between regular single crochet stitches and front post single crochet stitches okay so hopefully this video and the other two before it have given you some insight as to how to read a crochet pattern okay you guys learned a lot of things the slip stitch chaining two every row uh, double crochets front post double crochet single crochets front post single crochets you've Learn the importance of counting your stitches. You've learned the importance of going into the right stitches. All of these things will make a big difference in whether or not you actually get the end goal. You actually get the desired results when crocheting a project. So hopefully this video was informative and helpful and I will see you in the next one.